What is up everybody? Welcome back to another Among Us video and today will be a little different. It's just gonna be talking about what happened to Scale.net if you read the title already. Well, Scale.net is no longer supportive of the latest Among Us because the Among Us has updated their app. The Among Us updated their app and meaning that Scale.net are no longer supportive. But if you follow um, Scale.net on Discord, I believe it says that but it was posted by Art, Art Got Me. It says, if you wish to keep playing Scale.net, do not update Among Us. So, technically, if you have, if you have already updated Among Us, there's a solution for that. I will get back to it. And it's also said, due to updates by Inner Sloth, Inner Sloth, Scale.net will not be supportive in future. As such, Scale.net will soon enter legacy mode. That sounded bad. The server will stay up but will likely never work on any version newer than 2021.6.30. Uh, also said scale.net has been one hell of a ride and I want to thank all of the 3.4 billion players of sharing this journey with me well with him well if you have already um, upgraded among us and you still want to play uh, scale.net there's a solution to that it says right here you can downgrade your copy of Among Us by manually downloading the 2021.6.30 APK here. He also provided a link. I will also provide a link in the description below. That will allow you to continue playing Scale.net for the time being. And he also tweeted as of today, Friday of November 12, 2021. It says Scale.net will survive. That's a good news for us more info soon well we just have to stay tuned for that technically what happened in the previous i was trying to record a video and i realized that i wasn't able to create a game in among us scale.net server and then i went to discord and saw that and saw that post and i was like wow and my among us was on auto update Meaning that every time an update comes, it just auto updated. And so I deleted it and re downloaded it from uh, Up to Down website. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that, but that's where I downloaded it from and found the exact version to match the scale.net and then it, it works out. And then what I found it to be interesting is that, <coughs> excuse me. What I found it to be interesting is that hardly any player plays on scale.net ever since it was updated. The Among Us app was updated. Now don't get me wrong, Among Us update they added four different roles, which is engineer, really cool, you can vent, but it has a cooldown. I've tried it, I played it on my phone. And it has the guardian, which if you die, whether the chances of 100%, 80% to a 0%, of you being a guardian you can you can finish your task other than that you can help the crewmate if you know who the killer is do not protect him just help your crewmate out you can put a shield around it if the imposter try to kill the crewmate it will block it which is really cool sounds like a mod to me that server caused scale.net to be broken and also another role is a scientist role Anywhere you go, you can check the vitals of the person who died. And you can just report and vote out the imposter if you know who it is. And the imposter role that they added was the shapeshifter. You can shapeshift for a certain, certain amount of time to whoever you want. Kill them, kill their crewmate, and frame someone else. But you gotta be careful. It does run out. The timing does run out, so it has a cooldown also. So that's their, that's what they added. They also added these beans and all that, which is really funny to me. And they have their own currency now. And they currently also have, they go by level right now. 
So if you play a game of Among Us, it will give you experience, the XP, which is, which re which is really fun. It's technically like any other game that has a level. Now the, the Inner Sloth is stepping up their game. And what could that mean for my channel if I want to do mod Among Us? Well, as you guys may know that I record my Among Us in a mobile device. Currently I'm playing in my tablet. And okay, if you're wondering what I record with is I, re I screen record with my uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. And technically I just record and everything and edit and do my own thing, upload. That's all what that's all, that's all I do. So since I play Among Us on Android version, I can switch between both. Whether I want to up, whether I want to download the latest version or downgrade it to a previous version to play Scale.net, I'm gonna try the latest version and to see what role, uh, what it's like to have those roll. I've played it on my phone, but. I'm going to make a video about it and we'll just have fun with it. They have four roll, but I will take but I will take in each step. Not each step, like I will take one by one. Like I, one day I will record a engineer roll uh, or the guardian roll or the shapeshifter or the scientist roll. And then I'll just do a combined video of it at one point. But that's later in the future we're not gonna worry about that so I just want to talk about what happened to scale.net which was really sad at first because you guys may know that I record all those video of the previous video that I've recorded was from scale.net and what's funny at the time being of November 10th that I was trying to record I wasn't able to find any games and it keeps saying you disconnected from server and which was is it a technical problem or is it or was it because of my Wi-Fi and then I checked my Wi-Fi it was perfectly fine and then I went to my discord I have a discord and if you guys want me to link the discord my discord I will link it soon but not now I checked the discord and I saw that post and which was really sad because I play Scale.net a lot, like on everyday daily basis. But <laughs> that is really sad that the server is broken because of Intersloth new updates. And don't get me wrong, they have a good update. And you know, they could add more role to the imposter or the engineer. I don't know if they will, but I hope they will. Don't, don't quote me on that. And technically I just come to record this video for what happened to Scale.net, that's it. I know I said that like three, four times already. And pretty much got nothing else to say. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And comment down what you think what happened what will happen to scale.net whether will scale.net step up their game to the latest version of among us or will it just be history again i don't know let me know i'll see you next time